So let's go ahead and talk about font formatting. Um, in Microsoft Office Online 365, the Word version, you've got some font formatting features, but in the actual full version, you've got a lot more. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open up a blank Word document in Word. Again, you're just going down to that Start menu, you're looking for Word on your computer, and you're opening up a blank document. And font is gonna be all in that font group on that Home tab because it's one of the most commonly thing, things that people do. And all I'm gonna do is go ahead and just type my first and last name. And I start with basic, simple text like this and just basic things because we're really focusing on the tools and what's being used. And remember, as we move through these videos, there's going to be points in the videos where I'm going to ask you to pause the video, like physically hit the pause button and go try and do something on your own. And I think these are really important moments for you to be able to try to find something on your own. I will not be around forever to help you. I will not be around forever to answer your questions. And being willing to explore and see if you can find things on your own is going to be important important so that you can then um, become a better, you know, lifelong learner, transfer with technology as it moves forward and all those kinds of things. And no, I don't want you calling me for the rest of your life. I adore all of you, but I have other things to do as well. So um, remember, you can like double click to select something. You can triple click to select an entire paragraph. And those are easy things. And when you double click or triple click, you get this like quick access toolbar that pops up with basic features that are most commonly used. But really this font group up here, we're going to kind of look at a little bit more. So if you recall from our lesson that we did at the beginning, we've got font, we've got size, you can shrink and grow, right? I can make things be a different font if I want to. I can um, use this ability to make things like uppercase without even trying. So I'm just kind of formatting those things that we kind of already talked about. Um, and then you've got bold, italicize, and underline, which if you recall have keyboard shortcuts associated with them too. So I can hold down the control key and press B, I, and U, and that will bold, italicize, and underline as well, which is a great feature when you're typing in the middle of something and you don't want to go over your mouse. And then you've got the font color, which we've kind of talked about as well. And if you recall, the font color has um, names. And if we hover over them, they all have names associated with them, which is important for the certification exams because they're not going to tell you, um, you know, just a random color. They want a very specific color you're going to pick. So they could say something like, orange accent to darker 25%. So you wanna make sure you get the right one. And you can apply those. And that's kind of like the basic features that we went over that all exist in the Office 365 version of Word Online. But now there are more features because not only do you have that, but you have the ability to like space out characters and um, maybe apply a gradient to text and all those kinds of things. So we're gonna go ahead and go into that in the next video. I'm not gonna make a new document every time. I'm just gonna kind of pick up from where I left off. So so like this document, I'm going to stop this video and then I'm going to pick up again in the next video. So don't like be closing documents in between videos, especially if they're like lessons that connect to each other. So that way you can um, transfer from one to the other and still be able to follow along. And remember, as we're doing these videos, you should be doing this on your computer. So if you need to watch this on a different device or split your screen, you should be following along pausing, rewinding if you need to, and actually in YouTube, underneath the gear icon on YouTube, there's an option to slow it down or speed it up. So you can slow down video and speed it up as well. So you should be utilizing those options to be able to really do these types of things in the video instruction. So I'm gonna pick up where we left off in the next one to show you more advanced font features.